Mr. Speaker, let's recap where we're at. Less than a year ago, Madeleine Mayer left politics to spend time with her family. She was a cabinet minister under popular Premier Dalton McGuinty and the even more popular Kathleen Wynne. She donated thousands to the federal Liberals during the last election campaign. She also donated to the Prime Minister's leadership campaign. What? Then she wanted to be a senator, but was told she's too partisan, so she applied for the nonpartisan position of official languages commissioner. Will the Prime Minister just admit that he's filling a nonpartisan position with a Liberal Party donor and fundraiser. Honourable Prime Minister, Secretary, Mr. Canadian Heritage. Mr. Speaker, we're committed to finding the most qualified candidates for each position, and we believe that taking part in public life should not exclude you from serving Canadians in a new capacity. It's the qualifications that matter, Mr. Speaker. In fact, as the honourable member knows, we appointed Kim Campbell to lead the Supreme Court of Canada Advisory Board, and like Kim Campbell, we firmly believe that Madeleine Mayer will be able to serve Canadians with all of the accountability, impartiality, and rigor required. Well, member for Barry Innisfil. Well, Mr. Speaker, this group of Liberals is acting just like we thought they would. Uh, they've managed to divide Acadian, Francophone, and minority English communities with this pick. And yesterday, we learned a group that defends the rights of Acadians is seeking a judicial review. They just don't get it. It's not about Mayor's qualifications. It's whether anyone believes that she can be an independent officer of Parliament. It's about that. Now, why can't the Prime Minister just admit that he and his backroom operatives have caused the integrity of the selection process to be called into question, and they have no choice now but to do it over again? Our two official languages are at the heart of who we are as Canadians and they're a priority for our government. The experience, the expertise and the integrity of Ms. Mayor has been recognized by many, both in this House and in the official languages community across Canada. We're certain that Ms. Mayor will fulfill her duties with all the experience and impartiality required for this position. In fact, last week, Mr. Speaker, the Francophone community called on this House to end the political games and to support this nomination.